Welcome to Data Build's audio visual instruction. In this video, we'll be looking at how to import supplier prices using Splat. First, let's open the catalog. We've been given some price updates for products in the 260 cost center, so let's check the prices before we do the import. You can see we've got a price of $1.95 from Terrific Timber, and that price was valid from March 2019. Now we've received a CSV file from Terrific Timber with their latest prices, so let's open the Splat routine to import it. First we need to set information about the file we've received. We'll select a supplier, then the file they've supplied us. It's a CSV file, so we'll select separated values. We're importing prices to the supplier price level. You can also set a default cost center and valid from date if these values are not specified in the file itself. Next we'll look at the middle section. We've imported the price list from this supplier before, so already have a template. If you don't have a template, you can fill out these details, like whether there are headings in the import file, what character separates columns, it's a comma for us, and whether to strip quote marks from the file. Then you need to specify which order the data is in. So we exported our pricing and sent it to the supplier who updated it and sent it back. So the fields are all in order. But this might not be the case for you. See the reference is the first column, the description is the second column, and so on. Okay, so now our settings are complete, we can refresh the data to check it before we import it. What we're looking for here is any supplier references that do not have a corresponding link to our data build product codes. If this occurs, you can type in the product code in the links to column. Alternatively, if it's a new product, you can use the supplier's code as the product code for the new product. In the links menu, use the shift references option. You can also run a report to show the changes that will be made to your pricing. Set the reports to show changes only, then click reports. You can see the new pricing on the left, the existing pricing in the middle and the change on the right hand side. These prices have all gone up by roughly 10%. Check through to make sure you're happy with the prices and then close the report. Since we're happy with the price changes, let's import them all. Start by selecting all rows, then click the update button. The catalogue is updated with the new prices. Let's check. You can see the new price effective 1st of August has been added. Any purchase orders raised after August 2019 will use the new pricing. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.